Morning you guys, it's Karen and I wanted to quickly tell you about a healthy, I don't know what I'm going to call this, I was going to call it dinner with a dog, lamb koftas, but actually I want people to know that it's something that you can eat that is low fat and healthy and delicious. Um, and if I'd have thought about it yesterday, I would have filmed me making it, but it was the first time we making this recipe and I didn't know if it would turn out okay. Um, and I will put all details in the comments below because it's just easier for you guys to read it that way, I think. So I'll put the recipe, the ingredients, the method, etc. Um, but it is one that as I was cooking it or, or preparing it, I thought, oh, you know what, Watson could eat this. Um, and so I made, I added in the rest of the lamb mince because I had too much mince because I was only making it for myself and Kev and I added in the rest of the mince and, and gave him a little bit and what I did is just give him half of his normal kibble, put a bit of water in with his kibble and then I added in crumpled up koftas on top and he really enjoyed it so I thought I would tell you about it because like I said it was delicious. We had it with a massive salad. So the way that you do it you need some lamb mince, some lean lamb mince um some one egg white then you put in some parsley some mint fresh parsley fresh mint flat parsley uh what else some chili flakes some cumin and coriander ground cumin and ground coriander uh, some red onion and red onion is something that um is is a bit controversial for dogs but they it's like onion and garlic dogs can have a little bit of it it's just if they have a lot of it that it is a problem for them but actually onion and garlic is good for them in very small quantities so it's up to you how much you put in but just be careful you don't put too much in and don't give the dog too much um i actually didn't give him any with onion in because i couldn't remember whether it was one of those that they absolutely weren't supposed to have or could have a little bit so i just made some little separate koftas and cooked them in a separate pan for him um so half a red onion, uh, which I just love red onion. I just think it gives everything a great flavour. Surprisingly, there's no garlic in this, but you could easily add garlic in if you wanted to, but they're very nice without it. Um, and that's everything. And you basically, oh no, there's one more thing that's kind of the key to making this low fat, bulgur wheat. So you cook bulgur wheat. Um, I can't remember the exact quantities, but like I said, I'll put that all down below for you in the description bar. So you cook the bulgur wheat and then you basically put a bowl with the mince, the parsley, the mint, the chilli flakes, the egg white, and then you add in the bulgur wheat and you just mix it all together and form it into kind of kofta sized balls. I didn't use skewers because we didn't have, we don't have any metal skewers. We normally use the wooden ones and just soak them in water, but I just thought I'm just gonna make them into little balls and cook them that way. So I made them into sort of little oval shapes. Um, and so you just form them into pâtés like that and then you fry them you can just use a spray a cooking oil spray in the pan you don't need an awful lot of um, oil or anything like that um, and you fry them for 10 minutes just turning them constantly and they were really really lovely really delicious I don't the calories on it either to be honest but i'll put it on the screen here um because this was a bit of an impromptu video it was just i was doing it last night and i thought well i bet you anybody like me that's healthy eating it's nice to have dinners that are healthy and you look forward to. And this is one of those. And I know that it's healthy because it's a, I think it was either from Healthy Food Magazine or a Weight Watchers Magazine or something like that, you know. Um, but it's great for me because it's still low carb in that it's still got a lot of protein in it, you know. Um, so I don't imagine it's a high calorie dinner. And you could reduce it by having less koftas because, you know, you we had, I think, four koftas each. And then the salad I made, I just shredded some lettuce, put in some baby corn and some red peppers and some carrot and sort of mixed that all together with a tiny bit of sesame oil and lemon juice. And it was just delicious. And even Kev enjoyed it and he was surprised because I'm not the world's best cook, to be honest. Um, and he thought we might end up getting pizza, but no, he really enjoyed it. And he said he'd definitely have it again. So that's everything. Uh, let me know if you try it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if your dog likes it. Um, I've got a whole book of recipes for those of you that don't know called Dinner with the Dog on Amazon. Um, and it's that's the idea. It's not like something to feed the dog every day. It's just for the occasional time when you think I'm going to make something for everybody and include the dog you know because nowadays they're part of the family um, and you think of them as one of your family and it's nice to be able to include them and I love to be able to give him a little bit of something different yesterday especially because certainly with Labradoodles they're so fussy that they like a little bit of variety so it is nice to sort of spice it up um, now and then and you can give them a little bit of extra nutrients as well so um, I'll put the link to my Amazon book below I'm working on a written edition but it's currently just a kindle version but you don't need a kindle to read it you can read it on you know your computer or wherever so that's everything thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you soon